Greetings! One of my subscribers sent me a message and asked me to take a look at this channel, God, Guns, Guts, Glory for KJV. He said it's a religious whack job that uh, he thinks was probably a very dangerous person to have around. Uh, let's see. The first thing I notice is that he has 21 videos and the one that stands out to me is uh, which I've always found interesting when Christians want to compare themselves to other people as far as par their parenting skills. So let's uh, see what he wants. According to this video, he wanted to, he, he called two schools, a elementary school and a junior high or middle school, uh, to talk to them about the upcoming day of silence. He wanted to make sure his kids were not indoctrinated in school, and he wanted to make them stay home, even though he admitted they had already missed too many days of school. But he wanted them to stay home instead of participating in that because he didn't want them to be indoctrinated by Obama's plan. Now we have to look, take a look at exactly what is this day of silence. So let me look at this here. Well, I don't think it's really all that bad. I'm wondering what this man's... Uh, his objections are. Mr. God, guns, guts, glory for KJV. What do you have wrong with this? Now, for the viewers, I'd like to point out that the day of silence is to bring awareness. It's a vow of silence that school ch children take to bring awareness to the existence and the problem of bullying in school. We've had incidences where kids have committed suicide because they've been bullied so much because of their sexual preferences or sexual identity. And this is merely to bring awareness to the problem of bullying. I don't see here where it says that Mr. Gun, God, Gun, Guts, Glory for KJV is going to have his children learn to hug the Moes. It doesn't say he's that the children are going to be uh, recruited by the gays. It doesn't say that they're going to be told that being gay is okay. It doesn't say any of this stuff that these uh, anti-gay conspiracy nuts think it's going to be. All it's asking them to do is be aware that bullying is uncool, even if it is on a gay person. So don't spit on them. Don't tease them. Don't call them names. Don't beat them up. Don't murder them. That's what it's saying for you to do. It's just saying, let's not be assholes to the gay people just because they're gay. It's no more than that. It's teaching these kids that being a, a good person is a good thing. Not that they should become gay. It has nothing to do with accepting gays. It has nothing to do with indoctrinating people into gayness. It, it's nothing like that. So what exactly would your objection be, Mr. God, Guns, Gluts, Glory? for KJV. Is it because you feel that it's better to tease and harass and bully gay people than to allow them to live on their own? Does your Bible call for the harassment of gay people? Does it call for the beating of gay people? What exactly would your objection be that you would want to meet, make your kids stay home and not learn this? It's just teaching them to be better people. They can still dislike gay people if that's what you want for them. If that's the sickening future that you've envisioned for them, how you want to raise them. They can still do that. All it's just going to learn is you can dislike them and everything, but don't beat them up. So, oh, I, I, I think you've just lost out your nomination for Parent of the Year. As a matter of fact, I would say that you are probably the worst parent around and somebody probably who knows you should be calling Child Protective Services because what you're doing is wrong. You are abusing your children and you should not have children if you're going to teach them this type of thing and basically what you're doing is you're guaranteeing another generation of hateful harmful bigots. Ones that will go around and they will slap gay people. They will drag them behind cars and tie them to fences. We're going to have another generation of Matthew Shepherds murdered in cold blood because of people like you who, not, we, we let's again, forget all about accepting gays, but just the idea that maybe 
we shouldn't beat them up seems to be an outlandish idea for you. You must think it's just A-OK to beat on them. You are a fucking douchebag. But of course, now, when I look at the rest of the videos on here, everything falls into place, and it will for all my viewers. Because if you go to his channel, which the link is right here, you're going to see that this fucking nutbag believes in chemtrails.